Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. This is actually going to be part one of a series of videos we're putting together to go ahead and show you how to use third web together with Unity using the gaming kit. And in this series, we're going to go ahead and break down how to go ahead and use gaming kit third webs SDK, use it with Unity and how to go ahead and make sure that your Unity game can interact with your smart contracts. So in this first part of the series, we're just going to get started with the SDK. We're going to go ahead and set up a Unity project. We're going to go ahead and install our SDK into our Unity project and we're going to add a simple connect wallet button. Now, by the end of this series, you'll be able to go ahead and have a Unity project that can connect to a user's wallet and check if they own an NFT. But again, in this first part, we're just going to get everything set up. So let's go ahead without wasting any more time and jump onto our computer here. Before we get into the video, currently 70% of you amazing people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So if you do find value and you do enjoy these videos, do us a small favor, hit that subscribe button, join the 30%. On top of that, every week we will be selecting 10 subscribers and we will be airdropping a very special third web NFT. So you can see here, I'm on third web's website here and we're looking at the documentations for gaming kit, which is our Unity SDK. Now, if you look here, you can go ahead and there is a step-by-step -step guide on going ahead and installing the SDK, which is what we're gonna go over here. Now, if you hit the GitHub release pages here, uh, it'll take you to this GitHub repo here. And this is actually where you can go ahead and download the third web Unity SDK. We are on 1.1.2 as of the, making this video and you can see that we have added a bunch of cool features including a connect wallet prefab uh, checking balances and also being able to switch networks all within this prefab right here go ahead you can download the newest version of the SDK right here so we'll let that download and once that downloads we'll go ahead and open up our unity hub here and we're gonna create a project really quick just gonna shrink this here okay so i have my unity hub here we're gonna go ahead and click new project i'm just gonna select to the core for this and i'm just gonna call this uh my web 3 game All right i'm just gonna save it here and we're gonna create this project once it creates the project, it'll go ahead and open up Unity for us. All right, so now we have our project opened in Unity here. And the first thing we're gonna do is set up our third web SDK with this. So if you go up to up top under assets, you can import a package and we're gonna hit custom package. And we're gonna go ahead and select that Unity uh, third web unity sdk package that we downloaded we'll go ahead and open that it's going to ask if we want to import all of these here uh, we're just going to go ahead and import give it a moment and you'll see right here in the left hand side as it's importing you will see the third web files and everything come in right over here now the cool thing in here is under third web and under examples and under prefabs we have all these prefabs which right here is a connect wallet prefab which we will be using in just a moment once we have that installed we're also going to set up our build settings for our project as well right now so coming back up to the file here we're going to go to our build settings and we're going to do a few things first so we're going to switch this pla uh, our platform to webgl here so we'll go ahead, select that, and then go ahead and select switch platform at the bottom. Once that switch is over, we're gonna go into our player settings in the bottom left here, and we're gonna change a few things. So resolution here, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this down and select the third web one right here. And under the other settings, we're gonna uncheck the auto graphics API. So we'll go ahead and close that. Uh, we're not gonna build and run it just yet because we haven't put anything into our game yet, but this will prepare us for when we are done adding in our connect wallet button and everything, we can go ahead and build and run our project here. So I'm gonna close that window. This is our project here and we're gonna go ahead and let's start off by under our main camera here, we're gonna add a if we right click, we can add a UI component and we're going to add a canvas. And this is going to be kind of our, I guess, your menu or your start screen. And 
we're gonna just name it uh, start screen. Okay, so right here on the left, I named our canvas start screen. On the right in the inspector here, under canvas scaler, I'm just gonna say uh, scale with screen size, and I'm just gonna make this width 1920 and by 1080. All right. Now under our main camera here, I'm also gonna change our background color. So under main camera, under this background color here, I'm just gonna make it a white. All right, you can kind of see a preview here in our main camera. Now the next thing we need to do is we can go ahead and add our third web prefabs, which are just pre-built components that we can use within Unity. So under our third web folder, again, under examples, we can go to prefabs. Now the first thing we're gonna do is grab this third web manager here. And what we're gonna do is put that right inside of our main camera and we'll just drag it to the top here. So third web manager, this is where we can go ahead and set everything up for our game so right here you can see that we can select what chain our game our unity project is going to be interacting with so right now it is set to girly but you can go ahead and set it to ethereum or any of these other blockchains or test nets down here so we're going to set it to girly and you can go ahead and on here you can put different networks that you want to be able to support or be able to switch to we're just going to leave it as is now so once you have that up there that's going to set up everything as far as knowing what chain we're going to be interacting with in our start screen here we're going to add two, uh, a couple things here so in our start screen we're going to add our where is it this prefab here which is the wallet or the connect the wallet prefab so if we do that and we drag it into our canvas here you can see that we get the connect wallet prefab here that is going to be set in the top right corner of our game. And we're going to add a couple of things as well. So under the start screen, I'm going to right click. I'm going to add an empty game object here and I'm going to name this connected state. And I'm going to add one more and I'm going to name this one disconnected state. And these are going to be our two game objects that we're going to toggle depending if our user is connected to the game, if they have a wallet connected or not. On top of that, we're going to add one more thing. So we're going to right click there uh, on our canvas, our start screen canvas. We're going to add a UI and we're going to add a text uh, text mesh pro here. And we're just going to name this our welcome and we'll put that right above our connected states here. And all this is going to say is a little welcome We'll just say welcome. Um, so sorry. Uh, in the right hand side in our inspector here, I'm going to change the text to welcome to the game. All right. I'm going to change the font size here. We'll change it to 24. We'll make it a darker gray color here. Uh, and then I will just center the text. I'm going to actually make this a bit wider. I'm going to make it 750 pixels by 60 pixels here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually just uh, move this up here. So if we look here, uh, we have our welcome to the game. And if we check it out in our game tab here. So we just have a little introduction there. So next thing we're going to do is in this disconnected state, we're going to put a little message saying to connect their wallet if a user doesn't have it already connected. So in there, we'll go ahead and add a UI component. We'll add the text mesh pro again, and we'll say, uh, we'll just call this not connected. And in our little message here, uh, we'll just say, please connect your wallet, All right? And then we'll change the color of it again. We'll just make it all black. Let's go ahead and make this a bit wider. So make it 750 by 60 again. Uh, I will also scroll down here and center my text on that as well. And in our connected state, we'll add a text mesh pro UI component again as well. And we'll just say, what do we put for this one? We put not connected. And then this one we'll just put connected. And then for the connected one, we'll just change the text to say you have connected your wallet, right? And this is just so we can see if uh, we are connected or not. So I'll make this 750 pixels again by 60 and we'll make the text black. So if I come here and I um, if I select my connected state here and I toggle it off, you can see that our message right here says, please connect your wallet. And once someone does connect, what we will show is we'll toggle off our connected state and then show or 
toggle off our disconnected state and we'll show our connected state and we should see you have connected your wallet. And let me just line that text there. All right, so depending if a user has their wallet connected or not, we will display the proper message to them. So we have our components um, and objects here set up, but now let's go ahead and work on the actual code that is going to make sure that we have a wallet connected. Now, the first thing we're gonna do under this start screen here, we're gonna uh, select start screen. On our inspector here, we're gonna add a new component and we're gonna create a new script and then we're going to just name this start screen and we're going to create that. So if we go into our assets here, we now see our start screen script. I'm going to create a new folder, just name this scripts. I'm going to drag that into the scripts folder. So in our scripts folder, we can go ahead and open up our start screen script right here. It'll open up in our editor here. I'm just going to make this bigger. All right. So this is our start screen script. And what we want it to do is we're going to create a function that is going to toggle which toggle our connected and disconnected states here. So the first thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to create our own function. Uh, we are going to make this a public function because we are going to call it in our other script. So we're going to do public void and then we're going to say um, and we're going to say uh, toggle start screen. So in toggle start screen, uh, we're going to take uh, our two states. So we're going to do They're both going to be game objects. Um, and then our first game object is going to be our connected state. And we also have to get our disconnected state. And in there, when someone connects their wallet, we are going to toggle the connected state to true. And we are going to set the D. So we're going to make that uh, our little function there that we are going to call in our connected wallet. So if you head on over to third web and we go down again under examples and under our scripts, we have our prefab scripts here and we're going to go to the prefab connect wallet script. And this is the script for the connect wallet uh, prefab that we just used. And we're going to add a few things uh, in here. So within our uh, our public, our class, our prefab connect wallet class, we're going to under the settings here, I'm going to add it at the top. Uh, we're going to in brackets add a header and we're going to call that header uh, connected states. And in there, we are going to put a uh, public game object called connected state, another one called disconnected state. And we are also going to put in a game object for our uh, start screen. So again, what we're going to have is our connected states and we're going to go ahead and connect our start screen, our connected state and our disconnected state. And what this is going to allow us to do is in Unity, we can go ahead and connect what components or game objects are going to be connected to these variables here. So I went ahead and saved my script here. If I head back to Unity here, we'll let that compile everything first. And if we select our prefab connect wallet here on the right hand side in our inspector, you can now see we have this connected states section and we have our start screen, our connected state and our disconnected state. And it's going to ask for the game objects that those are going to be controlling. So for our start menu or start screen, we're going to go ahead and drag our start screen canvas into that section there in our connected state. We'll go ahead and slide over our connected state and then the same thing for our disconnected state. Now back in our code, once we have those set, if we scroll down a bit in our start function here, this is going to be uh, the one function that runs at the beginning of starting our game. We are going to come down here. Uh, you can see where all these set actives are uh, for our connected state. We are going to make sure that it is set to false because we want to make sure that they are connected prior to showing that screen there. Uh, and then for our disconnected state, we are going to show true, right? So disconnected state 
should show when the game first starts. And next, what we're going to do is switch it once a wallet has been connected. So on this on right below, we have our connecting here. So on our on connect function here, you can see that this is the prefab is going to do. So it is going to store the address and wallet and run the on connected function, which will toggle the menu in the prefab, as you can see down there. Now, under this one here on on connected, what we're going to do is go ahead and we are going to run our toggle start screen function here. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and call our start screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our component, which is our start screen script, right? We're going to get the script and within the script, we're going to run the toggle screen, uh, toggle start screen function. And what we're going to do there is pass our connected state and our disconnected state. And that is the states that we did here. And again, what that is going to do is toggle the connected state to true and toggle the disconnected state to false. So with that, we will go back to our Unity project here. We'll let that compile. Now with that set, what we'll do is we'll go up back up to file and then we'll hit build and run. We'll go ahead and save this. I'll put demo test and save and we will go ahead and and then we'll be right back once this builds our game. All right, so our game has built and it is running right here on our local host. I'm going to go ahead and just refresh it real quick and you can see our game here. So this is our, again our disconnected state because we see please connect your wallet down here. You see our connect wallet prefab in the top right. So if we go ahead and click on that. We can select the wallet that we want to go ahead and connect with. I'm going to select MetaMask here. I'm going to go ahead and just select one of my wallets here to connect. We're going to hit next and connect. And once we go ahead and connect, you can see that I am connected with my wallet address here. And you can see now we show we have connected our wallet down here. So we no longer see the disconnected one and we see that our wallet has connected. And there you have it. We went ahead and created a Unity project and set up our third web SDK. And we went ahead and added a connect wallet feature. And we made sure that in our game, we could go ahead and make sure that our user is connected with their wallet. Now, again, this is part of a larger series that we're putting together showing you how to utilize third webs sdk and gaming kit with unity now in the next videos we're going to be going over a few more things from creating nft art with ai how to create nfts from those and how to go ahead and view those nfts in your unity game so we'll be building upon each video and adding new things to our project so if you folks do find value in this video and you did enjoy this don't forget to hit the subscribe button give Give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell so you know when we're dropping the next part of this series next. And if you want to stay up to date with all our other videos, make sure you have the notification bell on as well. And if you aren't part of our Discord community already, go ahead and join our Discord. If you need any questions answered or you're just looking to meet other people building in Web3, it's a great place to go ahead and connect and get support from our team. So again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video, found some value and stay tuned for the next series video.